Right, new page. Uh, the second thing I want to talk to you about is um, the Roby Robin series of light products. And the example product which we put on the, for display was our new uh, 600 LED wash. That's the latest of the, the Robin products, which is why we put it here. But it's representative of the whole Robin philosophy, which is uh, a new green philosophy for our company. And it's very easy to jump on the green bandwagon uh, and just pretend things are green. Uh, but the way we've approached it with the Robin series right from the start is much the same as how we did with when they brought in CE. When you built a product under the new CE regulations to deal with emissions and immunity and things like that, we used the same components, but we had to pay attention to how we laid them out on the circuit board so that they didn't emit frequencies and disturbance that, that we'd, had to, we'd have to deal with. Previously, you'd just throw a product together. If it worked, it worked. Now you have to think a bit further. So our green uh, philosophy is to do that in terms of a product right from the base start. Do we have to make it that big? Do we have to make it that strong? Do we have to choose that material? So right the way through from the start of the Robin project, we've looked at the materials we choose. And as I said in 100 words, it's not all about choosing just recyclable things, it's sustainability. Sometimes we choose materials which aren't recyclable, but have a really elongated lifetime so that we're not throwing it away just for the sake of it because it doesn't live very long. So the Robin products are outperforming uh, their old counterparts because they're using new lamp technology. So we've got a brighter product that weighs less, uh, it consumes less power, it generates less heat, so we can put it in a smaller package, it weighs less so shipping costs are down, and right the way through our manufacturing process we've looked at the manufacturing factory floor, and you know, to a certain extent there's not a lot of things you can do, but we've looked at it in detail, so we, there's less waste, not just in terms of energy, but materials, time, and it's very difficult to stand in front of you here and start throwing figures because so much of this is really at this moment in time immeasurable or unmeasurable I should say and immeasurable uh, but we are truly making efforts all the way through and, I, and we think we're the first uh, or we're not the first manufacturer and certainly we're not totally green but on this product range right from day one we've had this in mind and, and built it very seriously towards the future because whether or not you're thinking of caring for the planet or whatever, it actually makes damn good business sense as well. And we've tried to do this thinking right from the beginning. And the 600 range products are really uh, representative of our, our efforts so far, which we think are, are pretty damn good. Think. Do you have any questions? Um. In, as part of that process, are there any design, do, do, you, do you feel, I'm just interested from a green point of view, are, are there any design features that you feel have had to be compromised in order to accommodate a green philosophy? Or have you always managed to find a, a, a design, cost effective and green solution to every problem? I think uh, we have to remember that primarily we're manufacturing a product which will sell and make us a profit. Um, we look at the green option every time uh, and if we can do save some money or, or, or choose the right material without compromising the performance then we would do it. If it compromises the performance in a way which the end customer is going to notice we can't do it because we're not producing a product then that's of use to anybody so that's a waste of time and energy as well. So no. <laughs> Fair enough, honest answer, yeah. appreciate it. Um, in the manufacturing process, if you're trying to be green, do you have any figures for what percentage saving you're making by making that lamp as opposed to the old version? Percentage saving in terms of our cost? Yeah, which is attributed to you know saving in power, saving in materials. Just you know, it's fifty percent cheaper for us to manufacture, or, or if um, you see what I mean. The honest answer, in a, in a terms of to answer your question, the way you've asked it, no. 
but that is quantified by the fact that we can produce a product that performs the way it does for the price that we sell it, because the price we sell it at is totally determined on what it costs us to make. So all of those savings lower our cost price, which lowers our selling price. So that, you know, we're producing a product which outperforms things which were 1,500, 2,000 pounds more expensive two years ago. So you could say we're making a 20% saving just by doing it this way, but you know, we're not pretending to be anything, we're not here. A lot of these savings are available by the technology of our component manufacturers, Philips who bring out better, more efficient lamps. Yeah. We've got more efficient power supplies which we incorporate in the product. So it's, 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 you know, it's an effort throughout the industry, but I actually think we're making an effort to not just jump on a bandwagon and throw in a few bits, but to consciously just think something through. Uh, and as I say, sometimes we just can't do it because yeah. we don't make the product that we have to make. Yeah. Thank you. If I were to try and justify this for a green award, what uh, what would be the best way for me to do it? Ooh, that's very difficult. I think um, short of actually taking you to the factory, showing our green processes, um, which are not always evident to see, because it's it's a it's a fundamental practice of 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 a process through the manufacturing line. Um, it's actually very difficult to quantify. Mm. Safe to say I can uh, show you a bill of material, well I can show you a retail price which is less than the old product and you could put the two next to each other, show the performance is equal or even better now and look at the price saving and say there's tangible. Um, you know, things like that. It's, it's very difficult to quantify yeah. these things. The components and all its parts, where are they actually manufactured? Uh, these are all manufactured in the Czech Republic as products. Of course, there are components which come from all around the world, but, but they're components. I mean, these are Cree LEDs, which are made where, Joseph? Malaysia. Malaysia. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a world market these days. Okay, so, so you're obviously talking about that these are green products and the way you come at these green products. What controls do you put into place that your suppliers that supply you all the components are having this same philosophy? We can't. As, as a manufacturer the size of Roby, we, we don't have that power. Uh, in, in terms of things like um, individual castings where we have full control of the process, we can. We can choose a supplier which is close to us to look at transport. We can choose a supplier that deals with uh, molten aluminium in a, in a much better way. We can look at health and safety records as well and, and, and how uh, these people actually run their company and things like that. And we go and look at them. Not, I'm not going to pretend we're angels, we go and look at them because of this, but we go and look at them because we evaluate every supplier on every level. Can they continually supply us with good quality product time and time again? They can only do that if they're actually thinking intelligent supply with processes and standards and, and part of those standards are looking at what they do in terms of their green sustainability as well. Because everybody around the world is thinking about it because it actually is money saving which means it's profit enhancing. Had enough? Okay. Thanks for your time. Thanks. <laughs>